Yep. Okay. Day three. Day three is box jump. You're going to jump up onto a box. I have my athletes stick the landing on the top of the box. So it's nothing too wild and crazy. You just be here, jump up, stick the landing, step off. As you get more advanced, you drop off. And that comes later on. We do just box drops. So you just be step up, step off, stick the landing, go back in line. Then when you get to the, say, the, a more advanced athlete and towards the end of the week, I don't want to be loading them up with a hand clean, but I still want them to do an explosive lift, box jump to box drop. You just have them step across and drop off. So that's kind of how the, the progression a lot of times will go. Again, I'm trying to load them up in the off season a little bit more on their Mondays when they're fresh and kind of tailor and break it down to easier lifts later in the week, even though the athlete maybe doesn't quite know that and it's still a great workout for them. Okay, I want you guys to do it because I know there's a bunch of them. And again, anytime you see the jump box jump or a jump, or squatting, we, we watch the knees is the number one thing right away. Also, uh, you know, back position too, but knees cannot cave in. That's the number one thing. Knees cannot go out past toes. Number two. So you want to start putting on toes squat Yep, to just a good soft landing athletic position. Good. And then just, and this, so if this was phase one, I'd have you step off, back in line. Good. Now you'll notice to land soft, the athlete's gonna have to go toes to heels. It's a natural progression to be able to decelerate your body without making a big banging sound. Kids that typically make a loud bang, land flat footed or heels first. Go ahead. There you go, not bad. So there, his knees were a little bit out in front of his toes. So I just let him know, hey, sit back, okay? Knees behind your toes. Good, just get all the way up on the box. When you land, do it again. jump, don't let your knees cave in. So always, I tell everybody, think of like you're riding like a horse, knees out a little bit. There you go, a lot better, good. So did, now in her case, she didn't like get really low to jump. She'd almost jump from a straight up and down position. Is that okay? For now, yeah. I mean, ideally we're gonna eventually get to here and as they get comfortable with it, you know your limitations on the box, because I said I'm not liable for any bruise or skin missing off of your shins or knees. That's your fault you went on a box that was too big for you. So I tell them, start small, okay? I'd rather see you jump and get your feet up to here and lance off on this box, than grab the tallest box in here and skin up your shins and bang up your knees and then have to go see Jordan for some band-aids. Yeah. And when you're doing these, just, we've done a lot of these, just like, I would not have kids do it right here. Just make sure no, someone's behind them where if they fall backwards, they're not gonna hit their head. Don't do it on tile. Do it on carpet. Yeah, yeah. Make sure there's an area where if they fall down, because they can. Just... Yep, that they can basically get it out of it safe. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it close to mirrors or yeah, equipment. Yeah, I would... don't even do box jumps near. Do them in the multi-purpose room. Can yep. put a carpet yeah. there or something.